जय हिंद स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लॉर्ड ऑफ थैंक्स फॉर योर सब्सक्रिप्शन लॉर्ड ऑफ थैंक्स फॉर योर वेरी गुड रिस्पॉन्स आई एम गेटिंग अ लॉर्ड ऑफ मैसेजेस ऑन माई व्हाट्सएप ऑन ऑन माई नॉर्मल मैसेजेस लाइक रियली माई वीडियोज आर हेल्पिंग यू आउट सो थैंक यू माई एम इज ऑल्सो सेम टू हेल्प यू आउट एंड आई एम लाइक आई एम डूइंग इट रियली आई एम वेरी मच हैप्पी टूडे आई हैव कम विद द स्पेशल वे और द बेस्ट वे यू कैन से हाउ टू गो फॉर मैथमेटिक्स मैथमेटिक्स क्वांट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक विच प्लेज रोल इन द सेलेक्शन ऑफ एनी ऑफ द जॉब इन द गवर्नमेंट जॉब सो राइट नाउ टूडे आई विल बी टेलिंग यू वॉट इज द स्टडी प्लान फॉर मैथ्स वॉट इज द वे लाइक हाउ आर द वेज यू नीड टू गो फॉर मैथमेटिक्स टू स्टडी like what will be the easiest topic which should which you should like take first and go ahead to get a good scoring marks those things i'll be discussing today i'll also be discussing like telling you that how ibps is organizing questions for the maths and then ssc how it is organizing the questions for maths how much questions they are asking what is the time they are allocating what is the difference between pre and main exam one who has cleared the pre what he has to do for mains everything i'll be telling you you need to watch till last each and every word each and every time whatever is going through this video will play a very important role in your selection i guarantee you let us see fine if i talk about first of all ibps what ibps is doing ibps is first of all giving you 35 questions and you know you need to do it in just 20 minutes if i talk about ibps po same if ibps clerk same both are giving you 35 question and you know you need to solve it in just 20 minutes tough job man it's a very tough job really tough job so how you should start which topic you should start during the exam how you should prepare really that needs a focus second thing mains in mains ibps po is itself giving you again 35 questions and same but the level will be now different they will be giving you 60 minutes now but level is going to be very different very much different so a lot of preparation is required for that if i talk about clerk in clerk they are giving you 50 question of mathematics 50 very huge role in your selection very very very, very big role in your score maths is going to be very scoring subject if you are going with that properly so in clerk they will be asking you 50 question only 45 minute isn't it now it will be tough now if you talk about ssc prelims they will be asking you 25 question no time bound tension and in mains they will be asking you 100 question of 200 marks very important it is really it is very important so let us first of all divide the mathematics okay mathematics can be divided into percentages based question equation based question ratio and proportion based question number system based question and two more small topics permutation combination and your di and you can like add with mensuration or you can say advance that's all so how you should start when you start for a mathematics start with your percentage based topics please percentage based topic now percentage based means what what do you need to pick up just pick up the topic itself percentage second you should pick up profit and loss third you should pick up simple interest and compound interest that's all i repeat percentage is itself profit and loss simple interest and compound interest including discount when these all things should come at a time then go for the second one which one ratio and proportion third second should be ratio and proportion now in ratio and proportion what you are going to clear ratio proportion itself it is ratio proportion you will clear it then you will go for ages problems on ages both are similar things okay third you will go for mixture and allegation then fourth you will go for partnership these things should be at one time i repeat again ratio proportion itself 
problems on age is itself then sorry uh, age is itself then mixture and ligation partnership two different different parts done now go for the third one third one what you will take take number system take number system vedic maths hcf and lcm averages yeah averages should be taken in number system i'm repeating it again it's playing with number only averages okay natural number and all those things they used to ask you what is the th this much natural numbers averages what is the first uh, 20 natural numbers averages so it's playing with number only okay then missing number pure number system isn't it then simplification then certs and indices these all should come in number system means vedic maths hcf lcm averages missing number simplification certs and indices this should come in number system see this is how you have to prepare when you are going to prepare for averages no you are going to prepare for what number system part when you are going to prepare for profit and loss no you are going to prepare for full percentages you are going to prepare for ages no you are going to prepare for full ratio and proportion means once you pick up percentages means your percentage is over your profit and loss is over your sici is over till that time don't move now what the the, the sequence which i have given you have to follow that only percentage is based first ratio and proportion based second number system based three see first three if you done this now your di is done this time prelim uh, prelims pu ibps pre, uh, prelims is going on 15 di 20 di 22 di questions out of 35 your di will be done just by preparing these three things so first go for these three things okay then jump for equation based questions or e yeah, equation based or directly proportional or indirectly proportional because like see speed is directly proportional to what distance time is directly proportional to what distance speed is inversely proportional to what time time and work question efficiency is directly proportional isn't it e efficiency is directly proportional to the uh, number of people the number of people increases efficiency increases so these kinds of question they all are called as equation based question what will come inside this definitely time and work will come time and distance will come problems on trains will come boat and stream questions will come okay just completing after that i repeat again equation based sums time and work time and distance problems on train boat and stream just after completing this you should go for algebra or you can just do it before also no problem if you do it just before that's more uh, better because you will be familiar with x so do before only quadratic algebra that is just inequality x is greater than y y is greater than x that kind of questions so algebra you do on the fourth position and fifth position you would go for equation based sums okay and then small topics are left permutation combination one question probability one question di done di is done isn't it di was done there only now you have to just practice the sums of di di is actually done and the last smallest topic comes that's what mensuration area volume and if you are a ssc student then go for the advanced full geometry uh, area volume and everything this should be the way of studying do not jump from this topic to that topic today i have done ages tomorrow i'll do sici no man no no you cannot do like that if you do like that you will be in trouble i'm telling you i'm telling you it is a experience based on many students many aspirants many people who have cleared the exam they meet me daily i'm teaching to many of the students i'm interacting with you all on whatsapp on calls on like many many places i get the experience i get the experience and that experience is being shared to you on this platform fine so first you do percentages based percentage profit and loss sici then you go for uh, secondly i told you ratio proportion based questions ratio proportion ages mixture ligation partnership then third you have to go for number system vedic maths hcf lcm averages missing number simplification and uh, certs and indices i have told you then you go for quadratic equation inequalities based only and then you have to go for equation based of sums like time and work time and distance problems on trains boat and stream 
fine and then at last one one questions are coming from permutation combination and mensuration di is done in those three only just you need to practice the sums on di your maths should be prepared in this manner am i clear fine you have to prepare in this manner now the i have told you what is the scenario of questions coming in ibps and ssc that i have told you so you know that how to prepare if you are preparing for any other government exam also definitely math will is going to play a very critical role you know when you solve the questions of mathematics your reasoning becomes automatically good it is just brushing up your mind and your reasoning starts getting good your memory starts get sharpened other subjects also start getting good. but it should be done in a correct way the way you gym the way you exercise in gym it should be done in a correct way dumbbell should be taken like this if you do it like this like this here it will come body will come over here <laughs> isn't it so that's what things should have to be done but it should be clear way you are going to gym do the exercises clearly nicely fine i think i am clear now the last very important thing is what they are giving very less time for the questions for the exams meaning is what if 35 question is given for 20 minutes by 20 minutes 35 questions can be solved that's why they are giving okay fine you are not able to do 35 at least 30 not 35 at least 28 minimum last now how those 28 questions can be done so why practicing wherever you are in coaching institute or you are with any of your mentor or with you are with any of your teacher always be in touch of him calculate the time in your mind whenever you are solving the sum of previous year question and it is taking more time get it that your your method is wrong your method is wrong that's why it is taking long, long time just approach to your mentor just approach to your coaching institute teachers and ask them sir it is taking more time it is taking more time fine analyze the paper which came in the exam many important things are there fine analyze it just check it out that this question came in this exam fine it is tough it is taking more time then second question it is taking lesser time means okay fine we can compensate them in a single exam one or two question may take long time but not all the question so why practicing keep in mind that this question was asked in which time whether at that time such kind of questions were there in that exam or not i think it's clear now or if it is not clear also why one thing only simple one thing yaar it should take less time na so for your solution if you are solving it out if it is taking more time it is damn sure your solution is wrong solution means what answer is not wrong your, your your way of process is wrong so get in touch to the teachers who can help you out with small process fine that is all really you have to go with it in the next plan i will tell you which questions from where isn't it from where which questions which types of questions to be focused more what should be the time slot allocated for mathematics wait for it i'll give it in the next one see i i can tell it right now also but i want to gather more information about that i want to prepare myself really for you all so it, it it will take time but it will definitely come fine so have this strategy go with this definitely you will success 100% sure guarantee it's my guarantee just follow it you'll get it fine jai hind do subscribe do like do share sharing is what helping fine jai hind